Hey, good afternoon, folks. This is Charles with Total Focus Lawn Services. And I just wanted to give you guys a, a look at my new upgraded uh, landscaping lawn service uh, trailer. Uh, I just picked this trailer up today. Uh, it was much needed uh, for my growing business. You know, my business was uh, growing pretty rapidly. Uh, looked like I, every year I pick up about 10 or 15 new customers. So I decided to upgrade uh, uh, my trailer uh, so I can get uh, bigger, bigger and better moors on it uh, and carry more stuff. The trailer that I was using previously uh, was six by 12. Uh, I've been using that for the last uh, five or six years. Uh, but now, uh, again, like I said, as the business has grown, I've decided to you know, upgrade and get a bigger, uh, better trailer. This is a seven by 16, and this trailer has uh, dual axles on it, 35, um, 3,500 pounds per axle. Um, and you, as you as you see, it got the side gate, uh, and it's got the rear gate as well. You know, when I first started looking for a trailer like this, uh, they were hard to find. They was hard to find, and you know, uh, you I could find them, but uh, you know, a lot of uh, people in, in in this area, they only have just a basic trailer, a little small trailers. So to get a trailer this size and uh, stuff like that. You pretty much got to travel out of state or, you know, go far out of town to get one. So uh, I just got online and started looking around. And uh, this guy ended up calling me uh, and tell me, told me he could get the trailer that I was looking for. Uh, and I told him what I wanted. I told him what I was looking for. I said I wanted the, uh, a 16-foot trailer, you know, because I'm looking at getting uh, – you know, a zero turn on the back, uh, put a zero turn uh, up front, you know, kind of like uh, facing, I guess, east to west or north or south, whichever the case may be. Uh, so that way, uh, you know, with the, with the customers I got, I got like, um, we're not a big lawn service. It's kind of like a medium sized lawn service. Right now, I got anywhere from 50 to 55 customers. Uh, and a lot of the customers that I have, uh, you know, have uh, kind of kind of like small lawns. Uh, they're not they're not that big, but you know, in my eyes, a good paying customer uh, is a customer. You know, so uh, what I had in mind, you know, when I first was looking for this trailer, you know, the dealer told me that you know most lawn service nowadays they don't use these type of trailers with the side gates and on, on and everything. I guess you know most big bigger lawn services they have just you know two maybe three. Uh, zero turns uh, on the trailer and what they do is just you know they take one off and then they take the other off but in my situation what I like to do is like you know I got two zero turns and a walk behind so what I wanted to do was to uh, actually put the smaller 48 inch uh, zero turn up front uh, and then put the big 60 inch uh, zero turn in the back and then at the same time on the back end of that one you know put the uh, walk behind uh, just in case, just in case I need it. Uh, and so uh, that's what I did. I ended up getting this one. Uh, really, I had to actually have him uh, to custom, custom make it. Uh, it took him about two and a half weeks. But, you know, he did a pretty good job. I mean, he was a, as you can see, it's a big, nice trailer. You know, it cost about uh, 1900 bucks with tax and everything, which I thought wasn't really that bad. Uh, you know, right here, it's got your... Had got all the lights and everything, you know, uh, capability. Has lights for the hookup, four pin lights. Uh, you know, it's got your chains on it, you know, where safety chains. And it's got a coupling for a two inch ball. And what I actually had, had him to do was on this, uh, on this, uh, uh, on this neck right here, I actually wanted him to, uh, to make it like, four to six inches longer than the standard, I guess it's standard, 24 inch, because what I wanted to try to do is I wanted to put me a toolbox on the tongue, on the tongue of this trailer. And the toolbox that I, I bought before, uh, it was actually too big, you know. Uh, I bought it for that other trailer back there that I was actually using, and, and uh, I, once, I, once I got it on there, I couldn't uh, actually 
uh, use the jack and everything. So uh, I ended up sending it back. So since I was getting a bigger trailer and he was custom making it for me, I thought maybe I'd go ahead and get him to uh, to extend the, uh, extend the tongue out a little bit. And so I can reorder that box and get it on there. It's a real nice box. I mean, I pretty much basically use it just to keep your extra blades in it. Uh, I mean, your your edgy blades and and your weed eater, uh, different weed eater spools and trash bags and stuff like that for, you know, when you're out on the job and working and everything. But it appears to me he made this one a little bit too wide. So probably what I'm going to do later on is get me some more um, angle iron or something like that and just... Uh, finished custom making it where I can actually get my uh, uh, toolbox on there because I, I kind of like it. It, come, it comes in handy. But again, like I said, this is a 16-footer, you know, dual axle. Uh, it comes with all the, the DOT already on it. You know, it's got uh, the little light on the side right there, which I thought was pretty neat. But it doesn't matter because I'm going to – I'm going I'm going to – I love lights, and I, I'm going to actually uh, – I got a lot of lights coming that I ordered from Amazon. Well, I'm going to kind of like uh, jazz it up a little bit. What I like, you know, those lights right there, I don't really, they, they're all right. Uh, but, you know, again, like I said, when, you, when you're traveling in a big city or whatever and stuff like that, uh, the more visible the rear end of your trailer is, I think would be the better because you got a lot of people that, you know, not paying attention and, you know, talking on the phone and different stuff like that. And yeah, you know, they kind of like have a tendency to run behind you. It's just an accident. You know, accidents do happen, but the more visible you actually make yourself, uh, you know, the uh, less chances are uh, of having an accident. So back here on the back, you know, what I do right here, I'm gonna put like two, uh, two 15 uh, inch lights on the side, four wire lights. They'll actually do the same as uh, those lights right there. That you have signal lights back here. Uh, you also have turn I mean sit turn signals back here. You also have brake lights and tail lights in the back that are you know help just just something I do just it, it's not that ex expensive like 10 12 bucks a, 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 a light that kind of like helps you look get be more visible uh, when you're out there. Uh, another thing I like about it, this is uh, it's like it comes with a tag frame. You need to put your tag on the left side. I guess that's the standard side where most people put there, or you can put it on the right side. You know, it has a little bracket up under the lights. I'm not too crazy about the lights. I was looking at looking on Amazon, see if I can actually find some some bigger wider lights. I'm pretty sure they are, but yeah, you know, again, like I said, those like that those not a big that's not a big deal. And I can just show you right here. Uh, these this is a uh, tag for the people. If any if any YouTube lookers or or any any YouTube researchers that's looking for a trailer and they kind of like in the Mississippi area. Uh, this These are the people that I had to actually make this trailer for me. You know, they did an outstanding job on it, I think. So, you know, it's got the uh, treated uh, treated plywood uh, uh, in the, in the uh, for, uh, for a deck and everything. And I like that. I like that versus the one that I have right now with the, uh, with the wiring in it. Uh, with the uh, with the metal wiring mesh in it for a bed, uh, because you know that stuff is kind of like spot welded, and as you continue to load and unload your equipment and everything, you know it's thin, it it has a tendency, uh, to, you know, to pop up, and so now I don't got too lazy to actually spot weld it back down, you know, because you're continuously busy in the lawn service trying to keep up. Uh, cause you're always getting new customers and always raining, kind of like getting you behind. So I hadn't had time to do spot welding on it. And so every time I ride up and down, uh, on the ramp with the lawnmower is actually, you know, tearing the wire mesh up, but that's a different horse of a different color. Another story. I'll get around to fixing that. But again, like I said, this is a big, heavy duty, healthy trailer, I think. And it's got, uh, again, they, like I said, they put the D.O. DOT, uh, DOT stickers on it. Then it's got these little uh, pockets on the side. Uh, I think it's got like four of them on there. Uh, two in the front uh, and one on the back that you can actually uh, use for uh, additional tie down. And right here, you know, it's got that, got that step right there, you know, which is a good feature. And all in all, like I said, I think it's a, it's a really good trailer. It's a really good deal. Uh, like I said, I just had to uh, upgrade, uh, cause my business is growing. 
it's getting a little getting bigger and uh you know and then at the same time i'm not getting any younger so i wanted to be able to uh carry my equipment uh and easily access uh whichever piece of equipment i needed at that time so again like i said if i need a small uh zero turn which is going to be about like a 48 inch uh i can pretty much cut a small yard with that and, and you can get behind get into some gates uh with that 48 inch zero turn whereas you can't get in those back gates with the uh with a 60 inch zero turn uh and so that's one of the reasons why i went back to the old school and got one of these old trailers with the uh with the with, with the back and the side gate on it uh again like i said it's got 15 inch tires tires uh i would have liked liking to gotten the white rims but you know that's not a big issue it comes with the silver rims and uh it don't i don't actually see a um a, a spare tire mount anywhere on it but that's easily fixable i can either get one of those but you know when i was running my other trailer as you can see uh I, I'm, I'm hoping that the spare tire that i already have uh for that one in the back of my pickup uh, actually fit on this trailer i'll check that out you know later on uh down the road once i get it set up and everything uh but for right now i don't think i'll be putting a tire mount on it or anything like that but again like i said it's just a uh upgrade you know i plan on being i've been in the business for a little while the lawn service business and i plan on being in it for a pretty good while so as you start you know working and picking up new clients and uh you know your clientele gets much better and your and your money gets much better uh you, you know you just have to turn around and reinvest in your business you know put some of the money back so that's what i did you know i, I kind of like upgraded with the trailer you know i ain't like i'm losing anything by upgrading and uh keeping that one because that one's gonna get plenty plenty of use i actually use it for you know hauling mulch or something like that so with this one right here i can actually load my equipment up uh and just come home and uh, uh drop it off don't have to if i gotta do a mulch job or 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 something else like that a uh, landscaping job or something like that and the moors in the way i don't have to worry about that situation because i can just drop this trailer off uh with with all the moors and everything on it go get my other trailer uh what i would just call this one my lawn service trailer and I would call that one my landscape trailer. So uh, I'm going to transfer all the racks and different stuff like that, you know, probably this weekend when I get a little time and everything. But, hey, I like it. I love it, you know, and I hope it serves me a whole lot of purpose. I hope to have it a good long time and everything. It looks shiny and brand new, but I imagine two or three years out from now to be looking looking for another, another paint job, which is, not that bad you know you gotta do what you gotta do if you want to have what you want to have so uh that's my uh initial review on this trailer it's a really good trailer uh, and if anyone have any questions any comments or suggestions or something like that uh feel free to let me know again like i said i got this trailer i live in mississippi and i got this trailer uh, i had to drive a couple of miles to get it uh but i got it from this gentleman right here um and he did a really good job on it uh took him a little while to get it to me but uh he finally got it to me and i'm just as happy as a kid at christmas time you know and uh i just can't wait to put it into use get all my racks and everything transfer it over and get out on the road you know add all my different lights you know like i said i like putting lights on the on the back part of the gate uh and uh you know, I'll put some lights on the side and everything. Like I said, I don't, I don't let people know, hey, I'm out there. I'm on the road. I'm, it's lit up. You know, you can see, you see me, you know. So, uh, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm in the process of working on things. I don't, you know, these side gates, that might be one of the reasons why people don't do side gates and stuff like that because it's kind of like hard to drive a regular standard mow up on it because it, you know, the deck drags and when it actually get to the top, but that's something I'm gonna work on. So if anybody got any kind of ideas of how they uh, actually get it to get to load up uh, standard mowers like these, these are my old mowers. I'm gonna be getting zero turns and different stuff like that. But these are my old mowers. And I was out here earlier, you know, trying to get this, uh, get them loaded up to see how much space and how much room I had uh, once I got everything that I wanted to carry with me up there. And I noticed that the mowers 
going up the ramps was actually catching the bottom deck was catching on the gate uh once it got to the got to the top so if anybody got any suggestions any ideas of how they easily done it or something like that just you know just send me a message let me know but that's my that's my review guys and i appreciate you watching have a great day thanks